Oh my goodness. Good day everyone, Braden here coming to you from the Magic Kingdom parking lot. We are about to head in here to the Magic Kingdom and see what is going on with the Tron coaster. I feel like I've been talking about this Tron coaster forever. You know, when is it gonna be done? When are we going to get to ride the Tron coaster? Well, as I'm sure you guys know, I've really been pushing for this year. I really think Tron can open this year. And every month that goes by, I become more and more confident in my suspicion here that I've had for six months at this point, uh, back when people started saying, oh, it's not opening till 2023. It's not opening for a while. I was like, no, I think it can open this year. So without further ado, let's head into the Magic Kingdom and see if it's looking like that's still the case. So guys, starting off this vlog, we're teleporting right back to over by the barnstormer here to hear that noise we're right by the Fantasyland station you know I just thought this is gonna be a normal Tron update we might talk about you know hopefully the railroad comes back this year you hear that sound they are putting in the railroad ties right now right now the Walt Disney World railroad ties are going in through this stretch where they've just been sitting here in a pile forever Right now, the Walt Disney World Railroad ties are going in as we speak. I just showed up right when they were doing this. Isn't this just insane? That is so, so exciting. So, yeah, as you can see behind me, they're putting in the railroad tracks on this side of the Tron Coaster construction. And of course, on the Tron Coaster construction site itself, the ties have not gone in, but on the other side, they have. Um, the other side of the Tron Coaster construction site by Space Mountain. That area before they hadn't gone in yet, now they have. So soon we're going to have track going all the way up right to both sides of the Tron Coaster construction site. Then they just got to run them through the middle there. And we'll be there, man. We'll be there. We'll have the Walt Disney World Railroad back later this year. That is so, so exciting. Look at this. That is so awesome. Next to the ties, you can see the rail which will be going on top of those ties momentarily here. I'm still processing this. As I said, I thought we were just gonna do, you know, run of the mill Tron update, and then boom, I get there right as news is breaking. That is so awesome. So as far as the rest of what is going on here at Tron, of course, one thing that's been going on is the Tomorrowland arcade work. So this was a development last video, last time we talked about what's going on here at Tron, where now they've walled off that walkway you have next to the Tomorrowland arcade, and they've been working on widening the pathway by essentially shaving off a few feet off the side of the Tomorrowland arcade. What they've done is they've demolished part of the columns you have there on the facade, so there will be slightly more room in there for people to walk past, for people to get back to Tron, because that'll be the main walkway. It's amazing to me how much work they're doing here at the Tomorrowland Arcade for what is such a small change, where they're just slightly widening the walkway by just a couple of feet. But today, you know, Memorial Day weekend, it's happening here, these crowds are all showing up, and you see people with the double strollers. I saw a mom with a double stroller, and the dad had a double stroller, one family. You need every foot you can get with these walkways, so it's definitely good that Disney's doing some work on the side of the Tomorrowland Arcade as we get closer to the Tron Coaster opening here. And then as far as what's going on in the Tron Coaster site itself, you can see that the railroad tunnel, the roofing panels for the tunnel that we saw starting to be installed last video, now they extend all the way across the entire tunnel. The entire tunnel is covered now, and you can see from the people mover, they are doing work inside of the tunnel right now getting it ready hopefully for those ties, that tie work and the rail and all that that we saw them working on over by the Fantasyland station. Obviously looking at all the dirt moving work and all of the heavy construction still going on on the Tron Coaster site right now, the track around the Magic Kingdom will not be contiguous here for a little while longer as they're still doing so, so much work here on the Tron site. Other notable developments, I noticed that they were doing some painting work on the guest walkway, the side of the guest flyover walkway that'll bring you up to the Tron entrance. Also the Tron entrance itself where you go to enter the building, they're doing a ton of work there. They're still doing a little work on that metal border you have to the Tron canopy, but it is pretty far along here. We are definitely in good shape. And then also with the guest walkway, they're putting in the final concrete, the final concrete that you'll be walking on as you walk up there. Now I still have yet to see the Tron vehicles in action. They have been testing them here, but it hasn't been super often during guest hours. I haven't seen that happen in person yet, but needless to say, some very, very exciting stuff at the Tron coaster. It is a busy day here at the Magic Kingdom. As I said, you know, it's Memorial Day weekend here, and it's actually still the middle of the week when I'm recording this, but 
The crowds are already coming in. At security, there is a huge, huge line. And the reason there's such long lines at security lately here at Walt Disney World is because they changed some of the security procedures. They're being extra scrupulous with the security procedure right now. So it's not just because it's Memorial Day weekend. It's also uh, that Disney's changing some things up there. And also, you guys know I'm a big fan of the monorail. So usually I take the monorail to the Magic Kingdom. Today, I went in on the ferry and the loading system they have going now where they load both the top and the bottom levels at the same time it is very very efficient the ferries load faster they get going faster and those ferries move a ton of people it's pretty amazing so that was my experience getting to the magic kingdom here today and you can see there are lines for everything right now it's currently only 10 a.m i got here pretty early so i could get this vlog done i don't like to vlog when there's tons and tons and tons of people huge crowds so guys you're not going to believe this Braden, why are you in the parking lot why are you going back to your car it is so hot out. The crowds are crazy. I did get water at the Main Street Bakery. I paid Disney's prices for water. I forgot to bring my own. So I'm doing all right, but uh, it is a hot one out here. It is humid. There's a lot of crowds. But we still have some news left in this video, so don't go anywhere. So to break the fourth wall a little bit, how I do these vlogs is I record myself. So first I do a lap around the park to see what the news is. Then I record me talking about the news. Then I save all that in my head and I go back through the park multiple times with the really high quality camera to get the footage of what I'm talking about. So that's all that footage you see. Usually you have to do multiple laps of different lenses and things like this. So I was over at the top of the Swiss Family Robinson treehouse getting the footage of Tron from the other side of the park, sort of the overhead angle, and I see the Tron vehicle go right by. And I was like, oh my goodness. Now the thing with the Tron coaster vehicle testing is we haven't seen a stretch of time where the vehicles have been testing for hours and hours and hours. It's usually just for little short segments, at least thus far. So I knew I had to run from the treehouse over to Tron, back over to buy the Barnstormer, back over to Space Mountain, all those different filming locations and get some footage. And that is what you are looking at right now. I don't know how it turned out, uh, but I hope you guys like this here. I finally saw it, those Tron coaster vehicles running. You know, they say every day at Walt Disney World is a magical day. You know, some are more magical than others, and this one definitely was one of the good ones. Not only did we have the news with the railroad ties going in, by the way, since I was talking about that just like an hour, a couple hours ago, now one of the rails is already partially installed on those ties. They already have it set up and it's actually already attached to the ties on the part right by the Fantasyland station. It's all coming together here so, so quickly. And on top of that, to see the Tron vehicles running on that track, the first time I've ever seen that happening at full speed too. It's just insane. You might be wondering what it sounds like when the vehicles are about to go by. It's very odd. It's a very low sort of sound it's like a hum and then they just go boom they just you know they just fly right past you all at once the way i knew when the vehicles were coming how i had my camera at all the right spots at the right time is because i timed it out with a stopwatch and the vehicles were going by about every two minutes so that's how i knew when each one was coming and i was trying to get to each filming location to get these shots within each two minute window because the vehicles only ran like maybe five or six times before they just stopped running here there was five or six rotations so I was cutting it a little tight. I had my hat on and my hat flew off, uh, which was kind of funny. So anyways, that's what's going on with everything here in the Magic Kingdom, with Tron, all of it. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a great Memorial Day weekend. As I said, it is busy, busy, busy here at Walt Disney World right now. I think I'll be staying away from the parks Memorial Day weekend, so uh, I don't have to deal with too much of that. Uh, but for those of you who are there and you're checking out Guardians and all of that, I hope you have a great time. Hopefully it isn't too hot. I had a great day here at Magic Kingdom today. The vehicles and the railroad, it is all coming together. And if you're still wondering, I haven't said anything about this since the beginning. Yes, I still do think that we are getting the Tron coaster this year. I'm personally hoping for fall. I think that they could get it open in October, maybe, but you know, you never know with Disney. It could be next year. It could be, some people are saying it'll open in 2029. Kind of feels like, you know, maybe I'm in purgatory or something. I feel like I've been covering the Tron coaster construction forever. I'll be here 10 years from now and it'll still be inching along and I'll be saying, no, don't worry guys, it's gonna open soon. It's 
it's coming. Uh, but really, I do think it's shaping up here to be ready quite soon. And I think a lot of people saying, oh, it's not gonna be ready for years and years. I think we're good, I think we're good. I think it's gonna happen this year. Worst case, the beginning of 2023, but I'm really hoping for 2022 for the Tron coaster. So guys, that's all the news today. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe with those notifications on. Thank you so much for watching. Live outside of the Magic Kingdom here in the Magic Kingdom parking lot with this beautiful mound of dirt, which is in the center of the Magic Kingdom parking lot behind me. This is Brayden, thank you so much for watching. Have a magical day.